Hey guys, welcome back. We're out here at Montezuma Slough today doing some sturgeon fishing. Got Billy up here in the front of the boat. It's a little windy. Hello, everybody. We had to drown up in the weeds. Good wind. And we got Sam right back here. Hello, guys. I'm going to give Chris back his rod and cast it. And uh, we're trying to catch some sturgeon. We'll see how we do for today. Did you get him? Yeah. This is all worms. Reel it up. This is a striper. Oh, did you just come off? Nope. Oh, no. Little striper. Awesome. Too hmm. small. At least we caught something. Oh, you can't keep that striper? No, he's going to be 18 inches. That's 18 inches. Yeah. I bet she's only 16 inches. Well, that's close to 18. <laughs> all right. First fish of the day, you guys. Bill got a striper. Where's those pile worms at? They're in the cooler. Yeah. First fish caught on pile, pile worms. On that other one. How big is that? Oh, he's not even 16. 16. <laughs> what did I say? You said 16. First striper. 16 inches. Montezuma slip. I said 16 inches. Definitely, definitely big fish. Point the camera to him. Oh, there we go. This ain't no striper. Make sure it's pointing. Here we go, guys. Yeah, try it on. Keep your eyes on these rods. Because usually when one goes. Go ahead and reel one of those rods. Want me to reel mine those straight down? In case um, he comes under? No. Okay, you're over me. That might be a big fish. I think that oh, he's in the other line. You gotta go over and grab the other rod. Wait, let's have the motor. You're ready to get the out? Yeah, I'm reeling up over here. Do I have the other one? You don't got me. Okay. You don't have either one of me. Sure, get the drift off. Whoa, guys. This took me around the back of the boat. You don't got either one of me. What time is it? Six o'clock yet? It's time I don't to get know. bit over here. Hey, get that other rod, Sam. It, it's wrapped around me. Go the other way. Is he still pulling line out? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's a big fish. This is, this is bigger than a keeper. Go ahead and crank that in. This is bigger than a keeper. Because that's what time we usually get them. Did she leave you up that motor? Oh, yeah. That's four. Hey. I think there we go. Keep it pointed at. Okay. Watch out, he's going towards the motor. Watch the watch front.
Okay, you want to give me the rod now so I can reel them in? <laughs> you, you want it? No. That's all I need is that take that rod and it pop off. I'd never hear Don't that. Don't worry. Again. We got it on video. Hey, this is what we're here for. Yeah, we don't have it on video yet. Hey, guys. We have a bent rod. Do me a favor. Go down and hit the subscribe and like. We've been here all day for this one fish. Here it comes. Coming up. Oh. Oh, he's too big. I can tell by looking at his head. He looks too big. I don't think so. Bring him right over here. There's 60 inches. No. No, he's not. By looking at his head, he's a lot bigger. This is like a six foot. By looking at the head, he is. I wish right, I could unhook split. it and take it over to him. There we go guys, just landed one that was about 65 inches, Something just beat. and we're marking another one, let's see if we can get another one on, get him out, but hey guys, when you catch a sturgeon, even if it's not a keeper, you got to make sure that you fill out the release section on your sturgeon report card, take the time before you cast your rod back out, it's the law. That sturgeon was caught on uh, pile worms and rope. Here you go if you guys want to see it. Just to know how I'm doing it. I put the pile worm on first and a nice little rope ball on with a bait button. Watching. We're gonna call it a day, it's getting dark. Uh, we only caught the one oversized sturgeon, yeah, and uh, Bill caught one undersized striper, and Sam caught one clam for the day. Clam's a good sign, though, it means that we were fishing in the right area for sturgeon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, please share with all your friends. Till next time, tight lines. <laughs>